Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're back on this clutch linkage again. <coughs> um, this has caused more uh, comments and hate mail directly toward me than anything I've ever done so far. A um, whole bunch of guys out there telling me it would never work and this and that and just uh, sending me a bunch of, of uh, you know, bad emails and stuff. Um, but I just wanted to uh, show you uh, something I guess I left out last time and uh, show you the flexibility of the flange joints. I didn't realize that there were going to be so many guys out there who didn't understand flange joints and how they work and maybe this will clear up some of the uh, um, <clears throat> nasty emails I'm getting. Um, nobody ever sends me a link to their video to show me how they do things but they're the first to speak out and say it won't work and um, I've had this linkage on oh I don't know quite a few Jeeps and like I told one guy this morning they've been on a whole lot of Jeep Jamborees I've had Jeeps with this linkage out to uh, the west coast out on uh, the Moab trails um, and it's never failed and it's been real good for me I've had it in vehicles but uh, I guess guys just don't understand things so I'm going to show you the stock linkage here that's a piece of stock linkage. There's the ball. I think you can see that. That's the ball that mounts to the frame. And that goes in there. And when you cock it like that, you know, you don't get too much too much flex out of that. I think you can see that. You know, you just get a little bit. Now, there's a lot of guys telling me that the setup that I use won't ever last in a vehicle because you get frame flex when you're off-road and this and that and um, you know you've got that bearing mounted to the frame and it's flexible in there okay it moves all around in there so now if that was mounted to the frame you've got an incredible amount of flex. If you've got that much flex between your transfer case and frame you've got bigger problems than just this clutch linkage but it'll it'll move in any direction you know so just so you can see I mean this will flex you know all over the place and don't forget the other side is going to have a joint on it too so that'll flex so I think that's an okay shot you can see you can see how much flex that has and it's still it's still going to work it's going to move back and forth very smoothly um, I guess people don't realize how a flange bearing works or you know based on the comments I'm getting I guess it's just a lot of ignorant guys out there that don't want to uh, understand how things work before they shoot their mouth off but <clears throat> it's got ten times the flex of the original one and I think that's what a lot of guys were worried about oh you know uh, I'm off-road and I'm gonna have flex well if you got your engine transmission everything mounted properly on good mounts yeah you're gonna get some frame flex but nothing that's gonna tear this thing apart um, you've got a tremendous amount of misalignment you can have here and still have it working um, and I just wanted to show everybody that because um, I don't know I must have had a email full of an email box full of about 20 messages today and and guys saying it just wouldn't work well um, I've got hundreds of vehicles to prove it will work and um, you know I appreciate your comments but um, you know try and keep it uh, friendly here you know I'm not not putting these videos out telling everybody what to do I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas and um, you know I'm putting out videos <clears throat> man this is the kind of information you don't find in service manuals or anywhere like that you know I've been doing this for 30 something years and uh, these are just things you pick up along the way so it's kind of discouraging to have uh, to have everybody you know bashing you around out there uh, you know I mean it's a whole lot easier just to work through today and not take videos and um, you know some days you just start feeling like you don't want to make them anymore but you know I know there's some good guys out there that are getting something out of this and um, for all you other guys you know you've got an open invitation to uh, come to my shop and show me how you do things 
full access to all the tools and everything I like to see you uh, come up with some better ideas and uh, let's get together and work on some things like I say just contact me let me know you're coming and uh, give me some ideas and we'll work together and stuff show me uh, some new ways you know I'm always interested in learning about new things and there seems to be a whole bunch of people out there that can do things quicker better you know and uh, yeah I'm interested in learning about that so, like I say, open invitation if you guys want to come to the shop and show me how you do it. Alright, I'm kind of just ranting and raving on this. I just wanted to clarify that these will flex and they will work for you in the chassis. Um, like I say, if you got more flex than this joint can give you, you know, you better, you better go checking out your mounts and stuff like that. Because um, if it's moving more than that joint will allow, you got, you got bigger problems. So... That's all for that. Um, <clears throat> we're going to move on to uh, some other things. And um, any other questions on this, just shoot me a comment and let me know what you think. And um, we'll catch you on the next video.